Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first awful podcast of this year. I got sick, everybody, on uh, New Year's Eve, not that you care. One of the worst flus I've had since I took my trip to Miami, my first trip many years ago. Uh, some homeless guy projectile vomited on the train. I was luckily away from him, but I think just being in that disgusting train cart with everybody puking. Look, well, everybody puking, but you know, all the homeless people and all the junkies that don't wear the mask. And I had my mask on, but it was still enough to get sick. I haven't done nothing all week except Wednesday night. I went to uh, this open mic. And speaking of that, I'm going to be running an open mic this Monday at some bar in Northeast. That's right, folks. I'm going to be running my first open mic and probably my last. We're going to see what happens if I can get some podcast coverage. I'm expecting a low turnout. You guys know I don't have the numbers. And I'm in a comedy scene where more people hate me than uh, don't like than do like me. Of course, many of these people are people I don't even know. But that's what I'm expecting. We're gonna see what happens. So it was pretty cool. I just emailed this guy and uh, he got back to me real quick. And then I started making a flyer on Photoshop. And then he was flaky on me. And I said, "Oh, it's not gonna happen." And the next thing you know, he wrote back. Uh, they posted on Facebook, and I said, "Oh shit, this is happening." It just happened. Like that, like within not even two weeks, and there you go. But Wednesday night, uh, I, all I did this week was I went to an open mic Wednesday night, and I uh, promoted my open mic, not on stage, but talking to some people before the show. Um, I had uh, some food and some drink. I did some stage time, even though my voice was kind of, you can tell, congested. I wiped the microphone down from this uh, homeless guy who goes on before me, and someone wiped the microphone after I went on, so there you go. That's how that works. And uh, that's all that's been going on. No prank call show this week. No nothing. It's been sick in bed. Fucking snowed today. That fucking sucks. It was only like about a foot though. It's mostly melted. But yeah, just fucking not doing anything. Just fucking laying around, folks. Just like this podcast. Laying around up your ass. Well, I only got two clips to play for you for the public freakout clips. And speaking of open mic comedy, this first clip is from a... Six month open micer. I'm not sure where he's from, and we don't know what he said, but he offended some white woman. Now, once again, we talked about this before on the show that white women are ruining comedy. Mostly, white woman comedians and white woman audience members are the number one type of people. They'd be offended by everything because they think that everyone should think like them. And uh, we're gonna play this clip. We don't know what he said once again, but there she is. She's already at the front, ready in this kid's face. There is cock. Here it is. Um, please sit down. I don't know what. What do you want me to do? You're not getting this back. <laughs> so she threw her disgusting COVID mask at him, and he picked it up. And pretty good line for a six-month comic to uh, use that against her. So he ends his stage trying to get away from her, but what he forgets is she's going to try to come on stage too, this uh, kook. Ooh, we gotta be careful. Body slam that bitch right off the stage and you get a lawsuit. Gotta be careful with these crazy kooks. Once again, maybe she wasn't white. Maybe she was Hispanic. I'm not sure what she is let's go back to that uh because you kind of see her face close up now let's see let's go down you might say what does the race matter well sometimes it does mm. yeah i don't think she's white she's some sort of asian or hispanic but this woman's definitely white she's laughing about it
Man, all the open mics that I go to, nothing like this interesting happens. You have to be crazy to fight with an open mic community. I guess this was a professional show. This is just an open micer. What the hell's going on with this bitch? <laughs> I guarantee you said something about illegals or something. And this last clip is a KFC worker. I probably prank call this guy. He uh he goes off on this guy eating. I don't know what was said. This guy's just trying to eat his uh, his famous bowl with his his wife or his girlfriend. This guy comes right from the counter and gets right in his face like he's some. I think KFC hired this guy as a bouncer. Because <laughs> some fast food places do. I remember at Wendy's in Center City, you used to have this big black guy, and he would stand there like this. Well, he was the bouncer, and I was like, does Wendy's hire bouncers here? But I guess they do, and this guy's going to get in this guy's face as he's eating. Like, these people, they're all for it. They're like, yeah, here at this KFC, we don't play games. We don't like when people eat inside of a restaurant. We want to not do any work. I think that's what they're really mad about. My local KFC does the same thing. They don't want you eating inside. They lock the doors. Here it is, guys. All I'm trying to do is eat. That's all I'm trying to do. Oh shit, here comes the KFC gangster. That's what it says on his W2. That's what he does. Keeps motherfuckers in line, yo. It says a real smile SA meal made the hard way. Well, this guy's hard as balls, yo. Here he comes. So, you got something to say. I'm listening. Ain't got nothing good. to say. As long as we're no, done I'm talking, talking I'm done talking. Now. Oh, okay. Hurry up and eat and get the fuck out. Thank you. Hurry up and eat and get the fuck out. I'm trying. Eat. I'm trying. Don't look at me. Eat at your... Look at your food. You're in my face. Look at your food. Now I'm sitting over you. Like... Hey, I didn't invite you to sit over here. You can't just do that. What's wrong with this guy? How are you okay doing this? I'm doing it. Don't make me rob you. Eat your fucking... Rob me of what? I don't think this guy realizes he's being filmed. Don't make me rob you. I'm going to take your KFC bowl, your wallet, and your cell phone, motherfucker. So listen, they hired this guy. If he's been incarcerated before, hey, that's great. But phew, this guy, he's just a G, man. Eat your food. You want it? Take it. No, give it to me. Take it. Give it to me. Put it in my hand. For what? Put it in my hand, bitch. Why do you think you're Put so it in my <laughs> So this guy's going to take his wallet and everything. Wow. I'm pretty sure that they made him manager after this. I guarantee they didn't fire him. They're like, you know, we like your skills here at KFC. We want to offer you the management position with uh, full benefits or not. Well, folks, uh, this podcast will not benefit you, but it's the first but yet worst comedy podcast in Philly. And it's your favorite podcast that most people will not listen to. We're going to wrap this up with some odd news. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow is the open mic. I can't promise I'm going to get coverage, but we will see. In the meantime, let's see what's going on in the odd news. An album of endangered bird sounds be Taylor Swift in the album charts. Now, Taylor Swift kind of looks like a bird herself. Some bird pussy. Uh, zoo studies show vacuum and DNA from air can help track endangered species. A couple who thought they bagged their dream home for a bird they discovered it was the scene of a real life demonic possession. Oh no! Yeah, usually if you get yourself a house for sale, there's a dead body or something. Uh, U.S. teacher locked COVID positive son in a car boot. Oh, people have done weirder things than that. Meet the man who runs a moist toilet museum out of a plantain-air. plantain air. Elephant wanders in the hotel lobby to the front door. I sure not a bear this time. It's, it's, it's always a bear. A uh, woman with a gunshot wound sets fires in a Fort Worth store to get the police there. Uh, eight year old dolls rescued from Bear Cave. That's sweet. High school girls basketball coach suspended after team defeats opponent 92 to 4. Well, listen. The team, other team, has to learn how to lose, and sometimes you lose big. Uh, Texas mom charged uh, teenage son with COVID-19 tested site. Not a lot of good and weird stories going on. Uh, Dwayne Johnson says he's coming to Sesame Street to kick ass the cookies. 
Dude, that wrestling used to be so good. What happened? Yeah, but wrestling used to rule the world, folks. Uh, Germans who want our wrestling with communist regime for a right to be naked. I was bad. I, I was bad. Wrong. Tennessee state lawmaker apologized for trying to paint referee at a basketball game. Taco Bell has a Taco Bell subscription. I tried to try to Taco Bell wings, folks, but they sold out. We all know all the black co-workers ate them. Gone. Uh, cat found inside a don a, a donated recliner. Woman who made six figures sold her farts in jars, hospitalized by her work and forced to retire. I think I heard this story. She tricked sell her farts in jars, and yes, guys were buying them. Which makes guys even more fucked up. A uh, ball suit after paid a worker of more than 90,000 oil covered pennies and pay dispute. Employee had received $915 pay. And oil covered pennies dumped on his driveway. That's a lot of pennies. Um, Google would pay top execs one million each to decline in to boost workers' pay. FBI uh, arrest suspect a bizarre years long manuscript death that blah blah blah. I don't know. Vaccine police leader county with with flamethrower jailed for trespass. Uh, China punishes officials after a woman miscarries outside a XI in hospital that denied her entry over COVID-19 rules. Oh my god, she had a miscarriage, folks. China usually kills a lot of babies anyway, so... Uber riders stuck on I-19 hit with a $600 bill. That's terrible. Yeah, a lot of people in Virginia was stuck on the highway. You guys know what I'm thinking. What are they doing with all that poop? Having uh, pets inside of a kid's robber's humanity. Pope says... Um, another sign laying around the north... Uh, a viewer called in to criticize a TV anchor in Missouri over being very Asian. A woman carries lying down Kuwait Street after animals escape. A man dies after breaking his neck trying to jump a ticket barrier in a New York subway. People do all sorts of silly things, but usually they don't die. That is weird. A man stopped wife from driving a truck. Police charged him when she died walking home. I don't know you can get charged for that. Bad judgment. Well, sex workers are pitted against each other in a fight over California's loitering ball. And I think that's it, folks. Another sick episode, another bad episode in the can for next week. I can't promise there's going to be a video blog or prank call show or anything. I was very lazy this week and very sick as well. But we will see. And thank you for listening to us from the bottom of my fat little ride heart. I'll see you folks in the next one. You just listen to, and we're out of here.